Southern California at Angel Stadium of Anaheim. Tonight it's the third of this four game weekend series between the Minnesota Twins and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Jay Mack looks to push his all time hit streak record to even greater heights. Next. time hit streak record he continues to carve out his place in the game's pantheon right here you know Matty whatever happens in this guy's career regardless whether he becomes a superstar for 15 years or fizzles away this mark will no, always great. stand it will always be something that other players chase children will learn about it in textbooks this guy has certainly etched his place in this no, game's history first pitch of the AB on its way fouled away with that base running threat on first base, man, does that change the pitcher's whole mentality. This guy at the plate should assume nothing but heaters coming right at him. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw to second for the four shot, and the side is retired. Next up is Jay Mack as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Yeah, Matt, he's so difficult to hit from both sides of the plate, but his eyes light up when he's hitting left-handed against the right. He's out on the mound. He's been torching them all year long. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Deshaun Knowles. Hit the other way out toward right field. Mack is there, one away. High leverage at bat here, and standing in, it'll be Jay Mack as he's presented with the bases loaded situation in a tie ball game. Drive that pitch now, eh? Let her fly. Pump me up right here. Hey, let's go, big fella. Come on, Biggin. Get a good pitch. Here we go. Hey, take a risk. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. High and deep to straightaway right. Gone! It's a grand slam! So one swing, and he unloads the bases on that one. 19th home run for him on the season as they open it up to 6-2 to two now. And it's almost unfair. He inherited this mess from the previous pitcher, but he definitely didn't help the situation. They hoped he could save the day and put out the fire, but instead he threw some gasoline on it. So now here is Lourdes Gurriel, who was a strikeout no victim his field. first trip and then collected Lourdes. a base hit his last time around. Gurriel. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hit in the air down the right field line. Mack has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And neither runner will be able to move up. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, number seven. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and head for third. And he'll take those extra 90 feet, so put runners at the corners now with two gone in the inning. Leading off the inning, it'll be Jay Mack trying to pad their lead here before the bottom of the inning. Big swing of the bat by this guy in his last one. A grand slam that drove in four, and that's helped this team lead by two runs up to this point. No balls in one strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. 
On the ground, up the middle. Rain hard, 90, hard, 90, hard, 90, hard, 90. First in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. And stepping in, Lourdes Guriel, who comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Here we go, relay, relay, hit me. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And the throw from right will not be in time as he takes third. Man, they came in here with a mission, and that mission is almost complete. They've won the first three games of this series and would love to seal the road sweep with a victory tomorrow. Eight to six, the final score tonight. Minnesota wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Devin Smeltzer wins his third of the season. Jermaine Lanier records.